What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video on Get Up, they're gonna be talking about is Kyle Shanahan responsible for the San Francisco 49ers loss in the Super Bowl to the Kansas City Chiefs? So let's see what they have to say about that. In my opinion, Kyle Shanahan lost the Super Bowl for the 49ers last night. I completely disagree. Kyle Shanahan kept the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, but Jimmy G lost the Super Bowl. You so I would say Kyle Shanahan set the wheels in motion for the 49ers to lose the Super Bowl with terrible play calling. And I would say Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, his terrible execution of the terrible play calling by uh, Kyle Shanahan is what helped the 49ers lose the Super Bowl. So let's continue. You guys are all going to point. Listen, if we want to have a conversation at the end of the first half with the clock management, I totally agree with you. And if we w and I think he should have kicked the field goal or gone for it on fourth down on that third quarter drive. But everyone's going to point to that drive that started around six minutes to go in the fourth quarter when it had just become 2017. They get that first down run to make it second and five. And then they throw the football in an incompletion and then they have Kittle on third down. Here's the thing. The drive before when it's 20 to 10 and... Um, they get the ball, first down, they run the football and it gets to second and four. Second down, they go play action pass to George Kittle and a big completion. No one's talking about that because then on the very next drive when it's 2017, they go run on first down and then they throw the ball trying to get George Kittle on his screen pass on second down. It gets batted down. Third down, we just showed the clip. Kittle's wide open. If Jimmy G just hits him, Kyle designs the perfect play, but Jimmy G doesn't throw it. And then the shot downfield to Emmanuel Sanders, Jimmy G doesn't make. That's not clock mismanagement. If, if. So um, the, Kyle Shanahan had no business throwing the ball when they're up by 10 points with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. All they had to do, all he had to do was run the ball. Um, so I can't necessarily put all the blame on Jimmy Garoppolo because Kyle Shanahan is a guy that approves the plays that go in. And you already know they don't have the most amount of confidence in Jimmy Garoppolo. So I don't know why they would start passing a ball when they didn't have to. They didn't have to. And as far as Jimmy Garoppolo, um, I, he has to take some of the blame. He has to because, I mean, that's terrible execution. I mean, you are a professional quarterback. You have to at least help your defense out and get some type of points on the board. I mean, they had the, they had the second interception of the half. They were up by 10 points with 12 minutes left in the game. All Jimmy Garoppolo had to do was, was at least run the clock out, get first downs, convert, put some type of points up on the board so you can supplement the 10-point lead you have in the fourth quarter with 12 minutes left. But, you know, he couldn't do it. I mean, you can't afford to go uh, three consecutive drives where uh, you have, what, four or five plays, and then you turn the ball over to Patrick Mahomes because he will punish you. So, I don't know. Let's continue. The fifth, we all be drunk. I tell you what, he came up short in the big moments. Do what got you there, right? He tried to be boy genius, just like he did in the Super Bowl That's against the Patriots, just like against the Patriots. When all he did, when Julio caught the ball, he should have kicked the field goal. He outthought himself. This team could not stop the run. Tyron Matthews even stated, we are so happy that they stopped running the ball. If you get there on second and five, even if you have a positive play and it's not that much, you still have play action on third down, but you continue to have the clock running. This became about clock management and being able to take some time off the clock and try and have a sustainable drive. If you're a running team, then you run the football. The receiver the, is open. The it, defensive lineman got Jimmy G was he, 3 for 11 he, in the fourth quarter. Was, you have a, you understand your quarterback. I don't, I don't what care what it is. I'm talking about situational football. Um, yeah, let's talk My about best it. play is give it to Debo Samuel and try and get to the perimeter because they couldn't stop him over the perimeter. You could have. Yeah, so they definitely have to run the rock. There's really no excuse for it. I can see if they had to go shot for shot with Patrick Mahomes, if they had to do it, but they were up by 10 points with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. All they had to do is run the rock. I mean, the defense was just balling out of control. So what they had, two interceptions that they gave uh, to Jimmy Garoppolo in his second in his, uh, second half. Um, they caused three fumbles. I mean, what, it was like, what, four and a half, five sacks in the game? I mean, so the defense was absolutely putting in work. And Jim McGraw, you have to get some, you have to put some type of points up on the board. You have to kill the clock a little bit. That, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. And then, like I said, Kyle Shanahan, his play calling was absolutely terrible. But like I said before, you have to run the ball. There's no excuse. There's no, I, they're both responsible for it. So Dan is right. And so is Marcus Spears and all the other guys and, and Mike Greenberg. So let's continue.
game of perimeter run pass option. It's better plays Bart, than having Jimmy G Bart, go Savelle. Their best play yesterday was the play action pass. Before the second how did it down, work, how did it work out? Bart, the best play yesterday was the play action pass. Before the second That's just and five, a result. how did it work out? Though? Before okay. that second and five, yeah. Garoppolo was 12 of 14 on play action pass for nine first downs. He called his best play in that moment. Chris Jones made a better one. So I go get in here. Cal Shanahan calls them D. I'm no. Trying, he tried to preserve a win, bro. I don't care how you slice it. He yeah. tried to preserve it instead of keeping his foot on their neck. And I get what you're saying. Players make plays. You and I agree with that totally. But the question we had all week was, do we trust Jimmy G? And it came back to haunt him. Like this, the eight passes against Green Bay, and we talked about it. You ain't going to be able to throw eight and win this one. And you're going to have to go toe-to-toe. We knew at some point in this game, Jimmy Garoppolo would have to go toe-to-toe with Pat Mahomes. We knew it we, because we've watched so many championship games. We knew at some point that that was going to have to happen. And what Kyle Shanahan did was took the ball out of his hands, gave it to him. Took the ball out of his hands, gave it to him. You got to make a decision. You have to pound the rock right here, D. You know that. I you know that, bro. Yeah, so I think Marcus Spurs is right, too, that you have to run the rock. And everybody knew, like you said, that at some point, Patrick Mahomes and Jimmy Garoppolo are going to have to go shot for shot. That's exactly what I was scared of as having to be fourth quarter in a tight game. And now Jimmy Garoppolo has to go shot for shot with Patrick Mahomes because that's not what you want. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is good enough to go shot for shot with Patrick Mahomes. And it shows that he wasn't, even though he's done it early in the year against the Packers, the Seattle Seahawks and against the Saints. But Patrick Mahomes is a different kind of animal. With that said, um, there was no need to. They didn't need to go a shot for shot with Patrick Mahomes because, again, they were up by 10 points with 12.48 left in the game. All you had to do was run the ball. Run the ball. So it wasn't a need for Jimmy to do that. If there was a need, okay, I understand that. He was forced to do it, and he just didn't win. But there was no need for it. And Kyle Shanahan, like I said, there was no reason for him to do what he did. So, I don't know. Let's continue. I want to let, let, let me say this. You said the question is, does he trust Jimmy Garoppolo? Do we trust Jimmy Garoppolo? The coach answered that question with the way he coached the end of the first half. Agree. He himself said, I don't trust my quarterback to make a big play in a big spot. Hembo just put up a stat. No team ever ran the ball for six yards per carry in the Super Bowl and ran it fewer times than they did yesterday. You get the ball with six minutes left in that game last night. You run it down their throat and go home. I don't understand what he's doing trying to get cute. You can say the plays were there to be made. But you play to your strength. Is Jimmy Garoppolo the strength of that football team? No. no. They, they, they decided to try and let Garoppolo win the game instead of dancing with the one that they brought to the party. All right, so if they run... So it's kind of funny how Mike Greenberg was scolding Dan like he's a little kid that broke a window and tried to lie about it. I mean, he even had him up there stuttering. But anyways, like I said before, they should have ran and walked. There was no reason, there was no need for uh, Jimmy Garoppolo to start passing the ball. Again, like I said, if they needed to, that, that'd be fine. But they didn't need to at that point. There was no need for it. So Dan kind of right, and he's wrong. I know I keep flip-flopping. But, you know, it is uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, the one who executed and made the, the terrible plays. But at the same time, they didn't need to get to that point. They didn't need to throw the ball. All you had to do is run the rock out or run the clock out, and you'd be just fine. But, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't do it. And, you know, Kyle Shanahan's terrible play, terrible play calling and the defense just has too much stacked on her back with Patrick Mahomes in a crunch moment. So, I don't know. Let's continue. The ball on first down and get five yards late like they do. And right. then second down, they run the ball. And that's Because the Chiefs' de run defense was solid last night. They gave night. up they six did, yards of carry, though. But there's some chunk runs, and a lot of those are chunk, like reverses and whatnot. The run game was solid. Second down, they run the football. And let's say they get a negative yard run or a one-yard run. We can't assume that running the football is going to rip off a five-yard run. Then it gets to third and fourth. You have now made Jimmy Garoppolo the quarterback that you don't want him to be, which is a drop-back quarterback on second and five. When you run the play action there, you're putting him in his best place, which but is play action pass. Yeah, but Kyle Shanahan put Jimmy Garoppolo in a position where you didn't want him before things started turning bad. Because like I said, they're up by 10 points with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. So all you had to do is run the ball. Kyle Shanahan put Jimmy Garoppolo in a bad position 
when he started passing the ball when he didn't need to. As I look at Kyle Shanahan as the main, you know, he, he's the main guy that should have saved Jimmy Garoppolo from himself because you already know they don't have the most amount of confidence in Jimmy Garoppolo. So why would you have him start passing the ball? I know the up by 10 points, but you got to be smarter than that. You have to run the rock. There's nothing to prove. There's nothing to show off there. You run the rock, clear the clock, and give yourself the best opportunity. And the best opportunity would be to run the ball. I don't care what Jimmy Garoppolo did earlier in the game where at one point he was like 10 for 13. That don't worry about that. Well, at this point, you're up by 10, run the rock so you can kill the clock and win the game. So I don't know. Let's continue. Dan, what made them that anyway? No, they you, did it. They threw a play action something? on second Dan, down. Dan, what's your identity? What's your team's identity? Run game and Pretty much action. ground pound and defense. So what you did is allowed your you didn't allow your defense to even get a good sip of Gatorade. But That's what guys, happened. You already you had a defense all, on the hit. You had a all defense. Assuming, <coughs> you're all assuming that the run would have chunked. That's my point is why wouldn't we assume? That's what they've been doing. Why would you not assume? Yeah, you, you would assume that, but even still, no matter what, that's just smart situational football is to run the ball if you have a 10-point lead. So it's not about what was working before or, you know, uh, Jimmy was, he had th this amount of passes and it was the receiver missed it or whatever situation is. The situation is now that you're up by 10, so you run the ball. That's just smart football. It doesn't matter what was going on before. You run the ball when you're up by 10 with uh, 12 minutes left in the game, especially if you don't have the most amount of confidence in your quarterback through your passing the ball against a guy that is an elite quarterback in Patrick Mahomes. So, I don't know. Let's continue. That the play action pass would work. Complimentary football. You play to that defense, right? That what, defense what is on their been, heels. Why would you risk putting them back on the field? What has we just been want the 49ers strength there? Run game and play action pass. And defense. Get, guys, how did they get down there? How did they get down on their touchdowns? Play actions to use check. Dio, we just saw that. Dio, I love you to death, but come on, man. I'm it's agreeing. not a lot of time left. Why not run the ball? Because Why I can use your time up. Guys, who's on the other sideline? At playing quarterback. It's Patrick but, Mahomes. The worst thing that you can do is go run, run, pass in that situation. The worst thing you can do is... Yeah, you're killing the clock. So, again, overall, before this video is over, I think they're both responsible, Kyle Shanahan and Jimmy Garoppolo. Again, Kyle Shanahan with the terrible play calling. There's no reason for him to call uh, passing plays when he was up by 10 with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter when he could just run the ball. And you have to blame Jimmy Garoppolo because of his terrible execution. So there may have been terrible uh, passing plays put in there. But at the same time, Jimmy Garoppolo, you're a professional quarterback. You have to make it work, too. You have to help out your defense, keep the drive going by getting first downs, and at the very least, get a field goal. Get some type of points on the board out of those last three drives to help supplement the 10-point lead that you have. But it, it just he just didn't get it done. So it is what it is. So let's continue. Get a first down and keep him on the sideline. Run, 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 pass. Keep him on the sideline. Run the ball. Do you think Kansas City's thinking run? Why do you think the play action was wide open? Does it matter? I think Kyle's being aggressive and they got to make the play. Yeah. If you got a defense, give your defense some rest.